All right, hey, welcome to Hit High Intensity Tactics for Growth. My name's Chris Ciccinelli, and today we have some awesome people that are here with us. Suzanne Murray that's joining us, our executive publicist at Pure Romance, and also Hi guys. Brian Parsley, the man, the myth, the legend. I know you've heard about him, been yeah. on the podcast several times. How are you guys doing yeah. today? We're very well. Well, I can't speak for you, but I'm doing great. Thanks. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm, I'm great. Are you doing great? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Well, I, I'm, ex- I'm excited. We're excited because, to be here. Well, here's the thing. I was changing some things up today on yeah. the podcast. How are you doing that? Having three of you, having all three of us on this and talking a little bit. changes. Change is coming. Here's the thing that <laughs> I think so many people have to understand, right? We're 116 days away right now from the new year, from 2020. And it is something that's approaching really, really quickly. And I think that today was the day I wanted to talk about this because we kicked something off with our staff here and we're really kind of going in and talking about, hey, how do we get ready for 2020? Um, So before we kind of talk about some of the things, how do you guys feel about change kind of in your lives in general? Go ahead. I, I hate to admit this, I hate change. I know it's necessary. I know I I read about it. I try to, but I I hated like. Do you know cha- why? I don't oh, know. Oh, now he's gonna now he's gonna. No, I would I would love to know, but you, I'm always usually happy in my situation. When someone says I have to change it, I get scared. On an unconscious level, do you know? No. Are you sure you should trust your unconscious? What's your gut say? My gut says I don't know. I don't know why I don't like change. It's it's hard for me as a person. I, I think, Chris, what it comes down to is is people get comfortable, yeah. mm-hmm. and the challenge with that is comfort destroys progress, and we avoid pain, yep. and we avoid change because of fear of the unknown. I, I think at a macro level, that's, that's what makes sense. It goes back to the same thing we talk about all the time is people want certainty. They don't want this guessing. They don't want to know if something's mm. going to happen or not happen. And I think I agree with you. And I, I do think change is, is very, very difficult for most people. It is something that totally paralyzes them. Even when you like think about the easiest change, right? And it's probably not even that easy. But if you got to go in, Brian doesn't have this problem, but you do. When you have to go in and you have to get a new hairstyle. Right. How long has my hair been like this? Ah, uh, uh-huh. okay. Uh-huh. And so the question yeah. becomes, Brian hasn't had to worry about that for, well, a long period of time. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I do research. Yep. I pull out styles. I ask people. Yep. I'm like, oh, is everyone going to like it? It's, always, it's like oh, a market research there it firm. Comes. Yep. It's, it's fear of judgment of other people. So 100%. I see that all the time. And I think it, it comes think down to that. it's higher with women, too. Do you really believe it's higher than with, with women? Well, I, I, just oh. from being a woman and yeah. t- having a bunch of close girlfriends. I think that we are more adverse to change because you want to make everybody happy. You want things to go well. You don't want to like yeah. throw something out that people might not like. Well, I, I, I do think that it both genders have a sense of insecurity when it comes to change right. or a fear of when it comes to change. Because, you know, I have a lot of people that I have buddies that chan, change jobs or do different things. And I see the same thing that you're, you're seeing. But I do think that the fear of other people judging us is, is, imp- is something that I really, really kind of weighs in. And Brian, I know we talk about the change because it's coming, right? A 2020 is coming, new business, new things, new products, new all kinds of stuff happen. Everybody talks about making, you know, New Year's resolutions when it comes to, you know, that time in January. How are you, you know, constantly uh, preparing yourself? Because I think when you're dealing with, you know, a, a, a mindset around change, you got to work that mind you like a muscle and you got to get it prepared. You got to be able to get it ready for that time frame. How, what are some of the techniques or things you do? I, I think it really comes down to what your comfort level is and whatever that is, push beyond that just a little bit. I thrive in chaos. I'm constantly spinning plates with a million things going on. Mm -hmm. And I almost go nuts when I don't have a million things going on because idle time creates bad things. But I don't think there's a right answer for anybody other than what is your potential? Mm -hmm. And if if you can look in the mirror and say, I'm at 100% of everything I'm doing. I don't need to change because I'm happy. That's cool. But I believe if you trust your gut, you're going to say, I do want to be better fitness, spirituality, uh, career, relationship. And if that's the case, I want to get uncomfortable. Yeah. Because getting uncomfortable, I was listening to a podcast last night um, when I was working out. I don't remember the guy's name, but he said when he was talking about working out, he said the workout begins when the pain starts. Absolutely. 
and with your business, it's the same way. It's yep. not, it's, are you willing to stay up till 11 o'clock at night? Are you willing to stay up, up till, till one, one o'clock? Till, are you willing to do it when you don't feel, <laughs> yeah. when you yeah. don't feel like it is, those are the triggers. And when that trigger happens, like, well, I deserve, that's when you got, you know, change needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah. You get that comfortability. I deserve, or I need, or I want. Entitlement. So, Chris. Entitlement. Suzanne, I mean, what, what are you doing to kind of get yourself ready for kind of change? How do you mentally prepare again? I know you don't like it, but when you have to do it, what is it that I you're I literally time in? it out. Okay. I, I research a bunch of stuff. Yep. No matter what it is, if I'm changing relationships or anything I'm doing, if I'm, I'm, if I get nervous, I need to know the most. Yeah. So I do a ton of research. I make lists. Mm -hmm. I, I pretty, and then I give myself a deadline. Mm -hmm. I say, I have to do this by this date and time. And it can't be a far deadline for me or I won't, or I'll be like, eh. Yeah. So, so I think, I think what she just uncovered was this. There's two types of change people can make. One is emotional change where you get to that threshold. that says, I can't stand it anymore. I'm willing and wanting to change because of the pain. Yeah. And then the other people like you that says, I need to logically sort out and make sure it makes sense. And there's a plan to mitigate risk of failure. Because mm -hmm. you're afraid of the failure if you do. I change. hate to fail. That's it. Well, I, I, and I think people that follow me and that, that, that listen to Hit or have followed on the road when we're talking at uh, different events understand one concept I, I live by: change is inevitable. Mm. Growth is an option. And that's what you have to understand. Change is coming. We every season something is going to be, you know, a new style. Of this the the old style's out. The uh, new product line is coming this year. Even with technology, it, it, when you have to learn new yes. stuff for your job, it is constantly that way. And I just feel that, you know, when I talk to business owners, the biggest thing that I tell them is they need to learn how to adapt. They need to learn how to understand. Because if you could do that that most people don't like to do. Most people want to stay in their comfy jammies. I see people that are wearing shirts that are, that they should have retired and say 1995, <laughs> you know, senior year football. What? It's 2019. Nostalgia. Stop wearing that stuff. Start moving forward on progress in your business, progress in your life. And it's okay to be and have a little fear. I have fear. Everybody asks me all the time, like, man, you know. What are you afraid of? I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of change too, and uh -huh. here's why. I'm afraid, but I I've like learned. You say that. I've learned how to adapt my mindset and saying, I I like change now. I want change, and I speak it into the world. I'm a huge believer that you tell you believe the story you tell yourself, and I never am now tell myself that I'm scared of something, I'm afraid of something, I'm not committed to something, I won't push forward for something. I believe in the self talk uh, thing. The self talk and and yeah, really the just self talk. But it's. But it's not talking it just to say it out loud. It's talking it yeah. and really Maybe listening to it, believing what you're saying. That is that is some of the things that I still have to do today. And you know, taking a business from where we're at from a million dollars to two hundred fifty million dollars, I still doubt. But I don't. I don't let that doubt stay too long. I, it's like it's like a guest that comes in for a glass of water. Come in, get your glass of water, and get the hell out of my house. D doubt. I like that. Yeah. But what's interesting is is that doubt is healthy. Mm -hmm. Fear is healthy. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you lost everything, you lost millions, you lost the business, you lost your following, you lost everything, it would suck, but you'd do it again. Yeah. Because what you can't, there is no failure. There's no such thing as that. And I know we know that. I know fundamentally we've always been told that, but it sucks when you're hungry. It sucks when you're not where you need to be physically. But you have to get uncomfortable. You have to know that if I fail, it is what it is, and I can get out of it. And and that's change. And, and being willing to change comes from, it's an inside-out proposition. To change is actually done in an instant. Yeah. yeah. The time it takes leading up to make that change. <laughs> well, sometimes you don't even have a choice. Things just change. Okay. Yeah. And then it's how you deal with but it. But change yeah. is instant. Yeah, change is instant. And you're absolutely right, Brian. I think people spend more time worrying about change mm -hmm. and then what's going to happen than the change that takes itself. I mean, it's 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 insane to think about that, but we, we uh, make ourselves ill. We make ourselves sick. Mm -hmm. We make ourselves tired, anxious, whatever. And if we just pull off the Band-Aid and move forward, that's where you're going to see the fruits of your labor I, I i just highly i just want people to understand you know what if you're a business owner out there get excited about change get motivated about change <laughs> get 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 like you want it because you want it so bad because you know your competition you know everybody that's out there they're not gonna like it they're they're gonna sit back and say you know what gosh i just want to stay in the safe environment that i'm at right now well safe doesn't get you anything mm -mm. safe True. doesn't get you Point. anywhere you, i will tell you right now you have to be daring you have to take risks and you have to do the things that nobody else Ch change one thing in closing change yeah. the word safe to settling 
Oh, I like it. Well, that, uh, yeah, that's it's a, true. It's a whole new perspective. 100%. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, so this is a, a, a podcast today that we really wanted to bring to you because we were thinking about this as we're 116 days away from the first of the year, you know, and people are sitting there thinking and putting their game plans together, thinking about what is possible for them, for their business. And if you've been doing things and you've getting results that you're not happy with, it's time to change. If you've been getting results that you are sitting back and saying, hey, I, I think I could get more change. Look at some of the things you could change. What are the things you could tweak? Don't be afraid to step out and do something completely different. Don't be afraid to trust your gut. Don't be afraid to worry that you might not be the most popular decision by you, by, by your friends, by your family. It's the right decision for your business, for your family. You, you make change for yourself. Don't That's be important. afraid. Let it shine. What, is that a song Whoa. maybe or something? I don't know. Brian Parsley. That's your new change song. We're into it. <laughs> hey, remember, you have always had the pen to create your new chapter, your new journey. Please go out there and write it today. Make some things happen. Uh, it, staying a student is so important mm. here at, uh, at HIT. Remember, high intensity tactics for growth. Thanks so much. Go out there, rate it, review it. And uh, I appreciate everybody that's got on and uh, and made their comments on and HIT. And Brian Thank and you, uh, Suzanne, Thank thanks you. so Thank much you, for coming in. Thank you for having us.